published 17.30 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 16th of May 2018, updated 17.30 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 16th of May 2018, Premier League champions Manchester City are confident the big six club battle for a greater share of overseas TV rights money will be resolved at the Premier League summer meeting. City Chief Executive Ferran Soriano has led the way in claiming that the major clubs who attract most of the foreign interest should receive more of the rights money currently shared equally. Soriano made clear at the League Managers Association dinner how optimistic he is about a settlement being agreed by the 20 clubs in June. Manchester City are confident the big six battle for more overseas TV money will be resolved and he says it will happen despite the impasse last October when a Premier League meeting was cancelled as it became clear there was no chance of the 14-6 majority needed for a rule change. This concerned the proposed 35% of foreign rights money being distributed on a sliding scale depending on league position. Only three other clubs, Leicester, Newcastle and Everton, supported the top six made up of the two Manchester clubs, Arsenal, Spurs, Chelsea and Liverpool. Premier League executive chairman Richard Scoobamore has ordered clubs to come up with a solution at next month's summit. He knows it is only before the start of the season, when relegation fears immediately kick in, that there is any chance of a deal being reached. It will also help Soriano and co that the three relegated clubs, West Brom, Swansea and Stoke, were all committed to keeping the equal share, while the promoted clubs all have foreign ownership that might be more approachable to the big six business model. The splits are already there in the newly reformed ECB under Chairman Colin Graves, right? The splits are already there in the newly reformed England Cricket Board. Shaun of the direct county representatives who dared man walking Chairman Colin Graves was banking on to shore up his fragile position, however it has emerged that former England women's test cricketer Lucy Pearson, one of the new independent directors, opposed the ECB's appointment of Glamorgan's Barry O'Brien. This was because of the conflict over the ongoing investigation into the £2.5 million ECB compensation because Cardiff no longer staged test cricket. Jordan Carson, son of a Chesterfield secretary, bet on Martin Allen becoming new Barnet boss. The football disciplinary authorities are going to take a dim view around insider trading of Jordan Carson, son of Chesterfield secretary and day-to-day -day club chief Ashley Carson. Carson Jr. boasted on Twitter of winning £520, having had a £20 bet on Sky Bet at odds of 25 to 1 on Martin Allen becoming the new manager of the League Two club. The bet was struck at 5.36pm on May 6. An FA spokesman said they are aware of the tweet. BBC Sport are declining to reveal the number of personnel they will take to Russia for the World Cup until after the tournament, saying the figure could change during the competition, it's more likely that they don't want the embarrassment of how many people they send at license fee payers expense being put in the public domain. BBC Sport are declining to reveal the number of personnel they will take to Russia this summer World Cup free for all the FA Communication Department's commitment to do things differently at the World Cup now extends to putting up all 23 players at the same time to be interviewed. By the media at St George's Park on June 5, the admirable initiative is taken from the Super Bowl, when the NFL insist both finalists to likewise forgive the scepticism after seeing so many England footballers swear the press, but it's just not going to happen. Sky Sports' invitation to manager Pep Guardiola to go to their eyes all with HQ for a special interview this week comes about after Manchester City's promise to give the subscription channel extra material. It follows Sky's anger at Amazon Prime getting behind-the-scenes access for the £10 million City docuseries, and Amazon's 30-second trailer for All or Nothing, Manchester City promotes some of that pep dressing room action that Sky have never been allowed to film. Pep Guardiola's appearance on Sky Sports came after a promise made by Manchester City.